Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. In this session, we are going to discuss about uh, syntax and as well as the flow of a for loop. As we know that the importance of a for loop in a logical programming, right, in any programming language. So, generally, so almost in all the programming languages, a for loop syntax is a common. So, what is the flow, right? See, is a for loop for loop syntax. is a for loop syntax. Generally here in a for loop for the so first we need to write a initialization statement. Initialization means what like i equals to 1, i equals to 0 something like that right. Initialization and followed by the condition as long as it has to repeat the loop and next one here it is a modify is nothing but increment and decrement and here it is inside inside all the statements. So, what we want to execute if condition is a true that we need to place. See here we will see one example then you will understand more clearly suppose for initialization means uh, suppose I just I just want to print 1 to 10 numbers. So, I value is a starts with 1 i is less than or equals to 10 it is a condition it is a modify suppose i plus plus is a modify increment or decrement and here it is inside so all the statements suppose we are printing i value just printing i value is example but here it is a, what is the flow how it executes means so first it will check the initialization statement it is first after initialization, after initialization, it will check the condition. It will check the condition. If condition is a true, it will not go and modify. Directly the control move inside. If condition is a true, move inside, execute the statements. After execution of a statements, now it will go and modify. After modify, again it will check the condition. So, means what here only the loop will repeat again if condition is a true the control move inside and after execution of a statements it will go and modify and then again it will check the condition here only the loop will repeat as long as the condition is true. So, when it terminates means what only if the given condition has failed ok. This is the flow, nothing but a syntax, and the same thing if you want to convert into flow chart. See, it's a start, start. The so first it will check that initialization statement. Is that statement? It's not a condition. So statements we need to represent with a parallelogram. So initialization, initialization. After initialization, it will check the condition. The so, conditions we need to represent with the help of a rhombus. This is condition, this is condition. So, after that, the control move inside and execute the statements. If condition is true, if condition is true, true, it will execute all the statements you defined inside statements. So, after execution of a statements here it will go and modify modify is also statement it is not a condition. So, after that modify modify after modify again it will go and check the condition here after modify again it will go and check the condition. If condition is a true again statements modify and again it will go. So, here the loop will repeat continuously. When it terminates means what? Whenever the given condition has failed then the control come to end. Then the control come to end. So, this is how the for loop is executing right is a flow and as well as is a syntax initialization executes only once and the loop repeats as long as the condition is a true right. So, with the modify once the condition has failed then it terminates 
Okay. So, hope you understood. For more videos, please subscribe to Narayshati channel. Thank you. Thank you.